Moody on the Move is presented by United Federal Credit Union. We get you. Hi, everybody. It's Pat Moody, and it's time once again for another edition of Moody on the Move. And this time, we are taking you to Whiteman. And man, I'll tell you, you're going to find a lot of information about this company that you never knew before. And you're going to be proud that we have them right here in Michigan's Great Southwest. And it's all thanks to our good friends at United Federal Credit Union. We get you. With us today, Matt Davis, who's the president of Whiteman, and Christy Nowak, who is the marketing coordinator. Welcome. Oh, good to be here with you always. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Good to be here with you. So, Matt, give us a brief uh, snapshot of how the company got started and how you've grown over the years. Sure. Um, our namesake, uh, GL Whiteman, uh, was a surveyor and engineer and um, started the company and focused primarily on surveying. Um, and then as it's grown into uh, myself being the fifth president, uh, we've added on architecture and, and engineering and, and went beyond more of the general public services into the you know, four sectors that we serve right now. And locations as well. Correct, yeah. Um, we started out here in, in St. Joe, Benton Harbor area, and we've grown into Kalamazoo, Allegan, uh, Royal Oak over by Detroit, and um, currently working on plans to be in northern Indiana. So, as we've talked about this Moody on the Move series and talked about the uh, companies that have uh, been up against the wall in many cases because of the pandemic and everything, you've been one of those companies that's been at it through the entire pandemic, helping other people to survive and thrive, even as your company has. Talk a little bit about how Whiteman has done what it's done and for 75 years now. Congratulations on oh, your anniversary. Thank you. thank you. Well, you know, first and foremost, we owe, you know, gratitude to the people before us. Um, we didn't get to 75 by accident. Um, a lot of good leadership uh, before us really in the foundation to our culture, which is committing to serve people in the community. Um, and, you know, being in business to support the community as well is a big value to that. So, you know, our strategy through um, the pandemic was to listen, um, which is part of our strategy always. Listen to people our, and the people are our employees. What do they need? Um, what challenges are they going through and how are we going to help them? And likewise with our clients, you know, what, what do they need? What changed with them? Obviously funding, priorities, health, um, you know, the strategies they're going to take. Um, and then just trying to change our you know, course through that, uh, that period. Um, but we've been blessed. It's been a, a challenging year and a half, um, but we were able to maintain our staffing and uh, the PPP loan and, and forgiveness uh, allowed us to retain a lot of talent in, in Southwest Michigan, and um, it's paying off now. Christy, Matt talked about, you know, the talent and you have a tremendous team here. The thing that I think stands out most about Team Whiteman is the fact that you are a team, but you're also a family. Talk a little bit about what your company does with and for the people who work here. I would say that we are lucky to be employees of Whiteman. We truly are. We have a great leadership team that looks out for us and gives us not only the opportunity to grow personally, but here professionally as well. Um, they provide a lot of opportunities for us. We are a family. We come together. We do fun things. We volunteer in our local communities. We look forward to getting together. Um, we look out for one another. We support each other in everything we do. And it's just a great working environment. It's it's your home, away from home. And we can say that here. And we believe it. And you've helped many uh, other organizations throughout the community by being that team. Yep. We're our, local, our employees here, um, every year we pick three charities and we fundraise. The employees do on their own. Um, and we support everywhere from Kalamazoo to Allegan and here to Benton Harbor and beyond. And we're grateful to be able to do that, to give back to the communities in which we live. So Matt, you know, when you talked about the uh, client, uh, that base that you have, and it's, it's such a broad based uh, uh, sector of, you know, life. Um, but one of the, um, uh, one of the more dynamic programs that a lot of people can see by simply driving around Southwest Michigan is a program then, um, that you put together for the community of Cassopolis. Talk a little bit about that amazing program. Sure. So our, our, um, our small communities in, in our region really have struggled. In, in, and I think the state's done a good job for a long period of time about uh, dedicating funding and efforts to cool, going back to cool cities, which I'm sure you remember. Uh, oh, yes. So um, this was a, a you know, transition. It took a lot of strong leadership. Emily um, at the village of Cassopolis uh, recognized that they were a kind of a nexus in the, in the village, that if they didn't 
strengthen their downtown and bring more people to the community, uh, that they were going to continue to lose business and lose population. So um, bold leadership at the village and, and at the county overall as well, um, recognize that they need to improve their downtowns. They need to create a place people want to be, where they want to start businesses, where they want to move. And uh, Cassopolis was fortunate that they have a, a lake right there tied to their downtown. And it's pretty unique. I mean, St. Joe's is a little bit similar, a natural feature tied to high density population mm -hmm. equals a ton of potential. And so they had a vision to connect the lake and downtown, uh, develop a streetscape and uh, improve their village hall and DPW services to serve the community better. Um, that vision was the foundation of it. Um, and then, you know, our team came in and said, okay, how do we help you realize that vision through um, funding? I think there were like six or seven different funding um, grants and loans that were brought into it. It was uh, infrastructure, it was the new village hall, a DPW, um, but it was against the, the leadership of the village saying, this is important, this is a good long-term investment we need to make, um, and they committed to it. Um, and that a lot of times is the hardest thing, I think, for you know, this. And um, our team was there to help, you know, whether it was the, the planning, environmental, engineering, architecture, you know, bringing that all together to, to make it reality. And be the fun. exciting thing about that whole project was the whole scope of, of how it brought in almost every facet of your company, because you are such a multifaceted company. Uh, tell folks about all of the areas that you serve. You, you have sure. mentioned some of them in architecture yeah. and engineering and so forth. But. Sure, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I think that we had 80 people that actually spent time working on that project. So we're 100 and about 150 people now. So that's a significant number of, of people. But, you know, it started with the planning and visioning and our planning department and helping them, you know, coalesce that vision they had into a plan. Uh, and then it moved on to primarily the architecture for the DPW um, village hall side, everything from interiors, um, you know, understanding how are they going to use the space and what kind of culture do they have and how does their building reinforce that culture? Um, how do they serve um, their clientele, clientele, which really the residents? Um, you know, they're no different than a business. They have to create a, an atmosphere for that. Um, and then the streetscaping from landscape architecture to environmental impacts on, on the waterfront. Our teams pulled all that together. Um, and then the infrastructure, all the stuff underground, no one sees or cares about, but are really important. You know, how are we going to flush our toilets really and have hydrants that work? And, um, you know, again, this was, a, I think, a visionary thing for the village. You know, they put in uh, high-speed um, uh, connectivity uh, through their downtown and, and wired their street lights and um, really for the technology that communities need to compete. Um, so the, the engineering team pulling all that together and then helping them, you know, find the contractors and teams and, you know, Selge Construction and, and Bender Electric and a lot of local contractors all coming together, uh, working as a team to get it done. So over half the team are working on a single project, really, truly amazing. And yet, yeah. Christy, one of the things that always comes up is the fact that no matter how many people you have, you never have enough and you're always recruiting. We are currently recruiting right now, as a matter of fact. Um, we're looking for a number of positions, and this is a great place for people who want to grow with the company who want to come in and be part of a team that does incredible work in incredible communities for incredible clients. This is the place to be. How should they go about that? They can visit our website, which is GoWhiteman.com. We also, if they want to send information in, they can send it to HR at GoWhiteman.com. All the information is there readily available, and we welcome them. Come on, join our team. <laughs> join the team. Be a part of the family, right? That's right. Yeah. Well, all the best, and happy 75th okay. anniversary yeah. once again. And thanks for joining us here okay. today on Moody on the Moon. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks, Pam. Christy, thank you. All right. So that's a wrap on another edition of Moody on the Move from Whiteman this time. And we thank our good friends at United Federal Credit Union. We get you for making it all possible. Also, a huge thanks to the team at Low Red Fern who make us look so good with all the great pictures and the video and everything else. And our entire team at Midwest Family. Thank you much, and we'll see you next time on Moody on the Move.